We got a call from a customer outside of LA that wants to build a brown trout pond. So we're in California in the beautiful San Gabriel Mountains. I'm totally excited about a project with brown trout. And these guys live in pristine water conditions. You either have to be in the right elevation or in the right part of the country to make this work. It's not every day that we get the request to replicate a mountain stream in a client's backyard. Yeah, this place is beautiful. It's incredible, isn't it? We're replicating California nature in Bart's backyard, creating a brown trout stream and pond. It's a dream, a trout stream, with the ability of watching them swim around and maybe swim upstream for my kids and grandkids and great-grandkids to enjoy. Biggest challenge we're gonna have here is making a trout stream look exactly like the trout streams that this guy hikes around all the time. The other challenge is gonna be creating a healthy environment for the trout. Bart's entire family, which is four generations worth, is coming over next week, which means we only have five days to get this entire water feature done. All right, we got a lot of work to do. I have called around to every fishery trying to procure brown trout. No brown trout. Before we left Chicago, I called a California fishery, and they promised me they had brown trout. Now we're here, no brown trout. The last thing I want to do is tell Bart that we didn't come through for him. This might be the world's greatest pond, but there ain't going to be trout living unless we come up with a solution. I got in touch with an ichthyologist. They're a fish specialist. They said we could actually have rainbow trout in this pond because they'll be able to be OK all the way up to about 70 degrees. So Greg pulls up with the fish. Oh, you got to get them out of there quick. What? What's happening? I got one floater. As soon as I take the cover off, I mean, I see one of them kind of listing over to its side. Another second one is going over. I'm like, we got to get these fish out of here now. We're putting them directly into the pond, and we got to get them in front of the aeration system. Get that oxygen going past the gills so they can start getting the respiration process going. I got to save them. They're dying. We want to do everything that we can to save these fish. OK, there you go, Suma. Oh, yeah, they're, good, they're good, nice. good. We start reviving these fish, and sure enough, they start coming around. And it was just so neat to see them all swimming around again. And, and we got it, you know? We saved these guys. Fire it up. Woo oh, look at it. See it coming out from under the rock. Here it comes. I, I love it. how you got it going underneath the rock. That's right? awesome. So, you ready to see this? This is the moment we've all been working for. 